What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Keep Chunks on your Minecraft server. Keep Chunks is a super simple plugin for keeping chunks loaded no matter how many players are nearby or on the server at all. Keep automated farms, redstone contraptions and rail systems working all the time. To install a plugin, head over to your Server Pro dashboard and head into the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and I'll search for Keep Chunks. Install the latest version that's compatible with your server and then hit the restart button. Alternatively, you could also download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that the plugin also requires a world edit and a world guide 7.0.0 or above for this to work properly. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under the Plugins section. So by typing a slash keep chunks help or slash KC help for short, you'll get a list of commands and some basic information. To keep chunks loaded, we'll enter commands that start with slash KC keep. To stop chunks from being loaded all the time, we'll enter commands that start with slash KC release. So let's start by showing chunk borders by holding F3 and pressing G. Say I want to keep the chunk I'm currently in loaded, I'll enter slash KC keep chunk current. If you want to keep a chunk you're not currently in loaded, simply enter slash KC keep chunk to see what information we need to give the command. So we need X and Z coordinates of a chunk as well as a world name. To find the coordinates, we'll hit F3 and look at the second block of text on the left. Chunk is followed by a relative coordinates of you inside the chunk. Then it has in, followed by the X or Y, Z location of the chunk you're currently in. Because the plugin is only asking for X and Z, we only need to remember the first and the last number of the three digits at the end, which are 68 and 5. However, because we already have this chunk loaded, we'll move across to the left and we'll keep this chunk 68.4 loaded as well. So I'll simply enter slash KC keep chunk coords followed by the X and Z coordinates we had earlier, which was 68 space 4. We'll enter space again, and then we need to type in a world name. Currently, the world I'm in is just called world, so I'll enter that and hit enter. This will keep the chunk we just specified loaded at all times, as well as this one that we specified earlier. This plugin also has a cool feature where you can stand on a railroad and use slash KC space keep rail current. It'll then detect and add all chunks with or nearby the rails to a list for constant loading. To see a list of all chunks that are being kept loaded at all times, we can do slash KC space list. From here, we can stop loading chunks by running slash KC release chunk current to remove the one that we're currently in. To remove the last one on the list, I'll run slash KC release chunk Cowards space 70 zero world. KC list again, and we'll see that those chunks are now removed. To clear all chunks from this list, we can run slash KC release all. Unfortunately, this does not work by default as we need to run this by the server console or enable it for admins to run in the config. Tabbing into our server pro dashboard, we can head across to the console tab and run the command here. So KC release all and you can see all 16 marked chunks have now been released. Heading into Files, Plugins, Keep Chunks, config.yml, we can now edit the plugin's settings. So the release all command that I mentioned earlier is over here, release all protection. By setting this to false, we can allow ops in game to run this command. However, I'd highly recommend keeping it to true just for protection for your server. Once you're done, you can hit save file and that's about it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.